can hear you. That was weird. Yes, I just changed my mics over. Is that okay? That's good, except for I don't remember how I brought the chart. I only have a couple of minutes here, so just look at your chart at Nike. What are you up in this? Did you get out? What are you doing? I have just closed it out after I've seen your video. <laughs> Fabulous. Okay, good. How much are you up? Um, I was up 500. That's good. That's good. You were going to kill it. You were down in it. That's terrific. No, no, no. I wasn't going to kill it. No, no. I, I was quite happy with the simple fact that it was holding within the market. It wasn't It wasn't reacting like Apple did. Um, that's why I killed Apple and took the loss in it. But uh, no, it was okay. I'm still in the diamonds. I still have that. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I have to say here is, and, I'm, and I, I don't want to criticize you because you really have, you did well with the Nike and you made money today, is that you're not following the same thing for everything. You are, you killed one at 70%, you held one that was 50%, you held one at 30%, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're, you're deciding, and just really quickly here, because I don't have a lot of time, you're deciding when this doesn't look good anymore, but I told you before, don't do that. Don't do that, because it's, you're not consistent, and if you, if you want to do that, ask me first, because sometimes I say, well, it looks fine, and you might not think it is, but it is. Either you have a structure, and you're going to hold everything, you're going to kill everything in half, you can trade every single one differently and skip some and not do others. You just Listen. can't do that. What? Listen, the, prob the problem with Apple was it gapped down. So it gapped through 50%. But one minute it's it's reasonable, the next minute it's way down. No, but so it doesn't matter. The point, no, if you don't have a choice, then you're killing every trade at 50%. And if that's the case, then you would have killed the diamonds. And you didn't, and that's going to work. So boom. That's what I'm saying. You have to do the same thing with every one. I don't care what the chart looks like. Do the same thing. Consistency, consistency, consistency. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, I'm still down 300 in the diamonds. Yes, it's put I know, but this uh, looks great. Yeah. This looks great. You could have even added more at some point today. I didn't do a video on this yet. You could have even, this looks great. This looks great. I mean, where are you at with this now? Uh, where am I at? I'm, I'm just down 300. Yeah, what's your price though, and where is it trading at? Give me the quick, just quickly, give me the current price, and what's your price really quickly here, so I can. My tell you what cost share was thirty-two cents per contract, and it is now trading midpoint at twenty-four. I just hold on a second. I mean, I've been out today, so I've been watching the market. So I mean, if you doubled your position in this, you'd be you'd be roughly around twenty eight, twenty nine ish, and I think this is higher. What do you want to do? What do you want to do here, quick? Well, at this moment, I don't want to double the position because it's nearly at the high of the day. In fact, what is it, sixty three of well, two sixty three. I know, but you have this out till when? Well, but you see, that's another problem. This runs out in four days, so tomorrow I need to be getting out of this position. No, you don't need to get out of this tomorrow. Why are you saying that? Because time, it erodes, doesn't it? We're stuck with that time, that erosion of time. You are, uh, this is going to run up tomorrow. I don't think that you should kill this tomorrow. You have three full days left, all day Wednesday, all day Thursday, all day Friday. And I'm not saying hold until Friday, but I think your, your positioning, thinking you have to get out of something three days before the expiration is wrong. When I'm calling these out the same week or two weeks out or less than two weeks out, you got to get used to holding these a little bit more into the close of the period to get the move up for the momentum. And if you're not willing to do that, then either take them out longer. Because well, honestly, there's no emergency for you to get out of this tomorrow. This looks like it's going to make a brand new all-time high. And I don't know if it's today. I don't know if it's tomorrow. I don't know if it's Thursday. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I think we're definitely going up again tomorrow. Definitely. Yeah, I, I know. But if you, if, what if it doesn't tomorrow. make a new high tomorrow? Then you're only going to make 100 bucks or whatever in it. I mean, if it looks like, if it, this looks great. This looks amazing. That's why I said no, you can take more if you does. want. Yes, it does. But time is eroding. And we get to Thursday. And Friday is a nothing day. If this is not in the money. I'm not saying hold it to Friday. It. I'm not saying to hold it to Friday. I'm saying your philosophy about you got to get out of this out on a Wednesday is crazy birds. Well, well, okay. I mean, I'm, I'm just trying to cover myself, really. That's all I'm trying to do. I know. This. I know. Listen, I got to go. The car is here for me. I got to go right now. I'm yeah. so late. Listen, I'm, I'm glad you did well. I'm terrific for Nike. Good job. Apple will talk about another time. Hold this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, talk Thanks, to you later. Melissa. Okay, Take bye. Care. Okay, bye-bye.